My name is Pastor Joseph C. Parker, Jr., David Chapel Missionary Baptist Church in Austin, Texas, and I'm a graduate of Truett's first class in 1997. Letter my father wrote to Dr. King in March of 54, and um, he says, you'll be the highest paid pastor in the city at $4,800 a year. He accepted uh, in April, came, I've all participated, so they were involved. The movement and all that broke out. And so my father was, was one of the founders with him of the Montgomery Improvement Association and all that. There are probably a lot of things that I caught just being with my father. My father and I were very, very close, and so I would go with him. I think I formed a theology of the church as a child because I saw that the church ministered at every level. The pastors of the churches that I knew were involved socially, politically, and so forth. And so there was never a question to me as to should I get involved with social engagement or justice issues. It was what I saw, and so I never struggled with that. I, I was uh, raised in a uh, segregated school system up through the eighth grade. My father would carry me around with him to protest meetings and organizing meetings. And he would allow some of those meetings to take place in the church building where he pastored. I remember my father taking me to bombing sites where it, it was so fresh that the smoke was still rising. And I don't know why he took me around with him. He may have been intentionally trying to teach me something. You know, we never talked about it. I just went with him. And so there were a lot of things that I just saw. And, and so I think it has helped me understand my purpose in life. And when you combine the Old Testament and the New Testament understanding of hospitality, what you discover is that God's people were to love foreigners. <laughs> Getting political now. They must nourish the stranger. They must protect the traveler. It is, Jesus says, as if you are receiving me. You receive them, it's just like receiving me. How do you learn to study the Bible to, to interpret the times in which you live, even if they are now different than the times when you were in seminary? True it, I believe, equips the students and so that as seasons, times, issues change, you've given them the skills and the knowledge to be able to take a new thing and to figure out where in the history of the church, where in scriptures did uh, an apostle or a church father or a church leader deal with, and you learn from that experience and say, oh, this is how that was dealt with and then you bring it, bring it over. It's hard, of course, to predict what the issues will be that the church will face, but I think that Truett, at least it equipped me to be able to uh, adjust to the issues given the skills and the knowledge that they gave me. And when you think of that stewardship and, 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 and the privilege they give me to stand in the pulpit as flawed as I am to bring a word from God. That, that's, that's a lot of joy that it gives me.